Peace, oh please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious and today I'm gonna be talking about how most of my astral projections happened. Most of my astral projections happened pretty spontaneously. Kinda. So this is how it happened. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah, it's obvious. Hands to the sky. Eyes wide on the fly. For preparing to astral project, I meditate for a while, as you've seen in my previous video. And, and then I, most of the time, well, what happen is, I wouldn't feel the vibrations or the high free, high pitch frequency, loud noise in my ear, and I didn't get any of that. I would get tired of it. I would get tired of trying. I would kind of like give up, and then I would just try to take a nap because most of the time when I would try to actual project, it was actually in the afternoon. And so I would just take a little quick nap. I was plan to take usually like a 10 minute nap after trying to astral project for so long, when I would meditate like this for long periods of time, I would lay down on my back, and then so I would give up on trying to astral project, and then I would lay on my side and just like be like, all right, let's, let's, let's take, a, take a nap, because I'm so tired at this point. What, what happened was all of a sudden, then that insane sensation of getting sucked out would happen, and one of my experiences that I did not speak about in my previous video was how how an astral projection happened when I gave up. I gave up and then I felt this immense feeling of getting sucked out like a roller coaster type thing. And then what happened was as I was laying on my side, I astral projected and what I saw was this just me like floating up. I was just floating upwards and I floated up to my ceiling basically and it was like my, my room was like real dark it was darker than how it was in real life um, real life because you know it was the afternoon and then once that happened once I felt that sensation of being sucked out of my body I went up and everything was like really dark so that's something that I've been having in my astral projections. It'd be really dark, and so yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't even think of. I don't know what it was, but I didn't really move around or anything. I just like, <laughs> I just I felt that feeling, and then I, I'm just floating up, and I'm just like I'm not really. I wasn't even like really thinking of anything. I was just like whoa, like. This is crazy. <laughs> and I just, I floated all the way up to the ceiling and then it just ended, it just ended. And I snapped back. So that that was definitely, that was the most vivid experience of an astral projection. And that's, that's the thing, you know, maybe it was just a lucid dream, who knows? Because I never even looked back. I never like I floated up. I didn't look back to look at my body. I just kept looking this way, you know. So I didn't even I didn't see myself, but it was a really fascinating experience because it was one of the most intense feelings of that like separation of my astral body from my actual physical body and it's it's nothing i felt ever felt in a lucid dream nothing i've ever felt in a lucid dream but it was very 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 intense and yeah so what do you think was it a lucid dream was it astral projection i don't know but it was very very intense and i did float up i couldn't see my body but that's how it happened. It happened after I gave up on trying to astral project. It happened once I gave up, you know. Sometimes you're really trying, you're really trying, you're really trying to do something. And then once you give up on it, it actually happens. That's, that's how I find like the law of attraction works. You have to have this mentality of getting it and tuning into the frequency of it 
but you also have to give it up in a sense. It's not like you've completely given up on it entirely, like, but it's this losing the attachment. You have to balance this attachment that you have when you're trying to achieve something. So you can't just be fully attached. And it, that's, it's a very interesting concept because you feel like you need to be super attached to get something like an astral projection, but you actually have to, at a sense, let it go and have a balance with it. It's like you have to come to peace with letting go of it. And then that's when things can happen. So that was my experience with astral projection here is my video on my astral projection experience and how to do it more in depth. And here is a video on how to meditate and why you should meditate. This is the most important video I've ever made, okay? <laughs> Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.